a Pisces. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. If you have Pisces anywhere in your birth chart, this is your reading. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You know what is for you and what is not for you. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Pisces. What would you like Pisces to know or to be aware of during this reading? Wow, look, the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, beautiful, wonderful gifts and blessings coming in for you, Pisces. The Nine of Pentacles, the getting ready to manifest, the fertile ground, the fertile soil. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Pisces. What is it that you would like Pisces to know or to be aware of for this reading? Thank you for tuning in, Pisces. If this is your first time tuning in, a little bit about how uh, these messages go or these readings go is when we look at that first row there, that first row is your public life, your professional life. Many times the work, career, co-workers, um, investment opportunities, um, many times what it is that you put yourself out into the universe, how you put yourself out into the public. The second row is your private life, your personal life, your home life, your love life, um, family, friends, um, partners, significant others. And then this final row here, let's see. this final row here is final thoughts, final messages. What is it that Spirit, final message that Spirit has for you? Sometimes your ancestors will show up there, um, but, but just final thoughts, final messages. And the, the basis, the foundation of your reading is the Eight of Swords. Are we feeling trapped, feeling stuck, something that we're not aware of, or we're choosing not to be aware of? And that is driven by the Hierophant, which five in the tarot represents change. But the Hierophant is about higher learning, higher wisdom, being blind, are not being aware of our inner knowing, our inner wisdom, are not connecting with our intuition, our higher knowing, our higher wisdom. And let's see how that plays into the rest of your reading this week, Pisces, because we start off with the Ace of Cups, which is really emotional. Um, spiritual, um, happiness, fulfillment. Your cup runs over with the spirit. And then that is followed by the three of wands moving into the future. Moving into the future, looking towards the future, ready, getting ready to take that next step. And the five of wands which is about, if we look closer at the Five of Wands, these people are play fighting. It's they're preparing, they're getting ready. And while things may see, seem chaotic, it's an organized chaos. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Finding or looking for a deeper appreciation for what it is that we do, what it is that we are wanting to create. There is a need to find a deeper appreciation for what it is that you do. I believe that there may be uh, new responsibilities coming in for you in your work environment or your career or somewhere in your public life. It's almost like there's a change, a shift in responsibilities. And this change, this shift in responsibility 
is going to keep you very busy. And Spirit is asking, as this change or this shift, these new responsibilities, Spirit is asking you or guiding you to keep an eye on your self. Keep an eye on keep an eye on who it is and what you are wanting to alike to achieve. Many times when we have added responsibilities or that we start something new, we become so focused in on that task that we do not pay attention to what our purpose is or what, don't lose sight of who you are. Maybe that is a better way. Don't lose sight of who you are. The key to growth is the introduction of higher dimensions of our consciousness into our self-awareness. Many times, you know, we connect to the environment through uh, our senses, you know, the hearing, touching, seeing, smelling, and even tasting. And many times we leave out our sixth sense. And I do believe that this Ace of Cups here is showing up in your public life is to not lose sight or to develop our sixth sense. Our sixth sense is the one that connects us to a deeper level or on a deeper level. And we connect to our sixth sense through our heart. There is a heart-mind connection. And I like to call this connection uh, intuition. There are others that call the connection between the heart and brain coherence. Regardless of what we're calling it, we're really talking about the same connection. And that is acknowledging that there is a link between our heart and our mind. And we can connect that through mindfulness. Mindfulness allows us to freely access our heart space. And as soon as we have access to our heart space, the connection between the heart and mind is made. That connection is made. And so again, spirit is reminding us, Pisces, the heart-mind connection. Do not get lost in the physical. There is a deep connection between your heart and mind that needs to be made in order to care for yourself. And then that is followed by the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is really the gift of strength, the gift of passion, the gift of desire. And why I say that is a gift of strength, when we follow our passion, when we connect with our desires, that gives us the strength to move forward. And that is followed by the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is really the pre-Empress card. We see the Empress card here, but here we see the Empress in the garden. And the Empress is gathering, and the Empress is creating fertile soil for her manifestations. And that is followed by the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups we see someone transforming. We see someone moving on from what the known is into the unknown. And that is followed by the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles. And 
the big queen of pentacles to me is the ultimate gratitude, the ultimate appreciation. If we look closer at that queen and we see how she is really appreciating the pentacles that she has. And it's how her appreciation, her gratitude for that pentacle that has her surrounded by that fertile, abundant environment. The solar eclipse on April 8th is going to be a mixed bag of energy for you, Pisces. And I believe that is why we're seeing the 9 here and we're also seeing the 8 here. It's, it's a mixed bag of questions. There, you're in the energy or in the mindset of really having your mind full of questions. Your mind racing with questions like, um, questions that have to do with uh, self-perspection and uh, self-doubt, like, Maybe I could have done this differently. Maybe I could have done this betterly. Could have, would have, should have. And really questioning and really having self-doubt. But I really do believe that when we are not so hard on ourselves, when we practice self-appreciation and self-gratitude, we can offset that. And so while you are experiencing a mixed bag of energy or will be experiencing a mixed bag of energy with that solar eclipse that are, is going to be, you're going to be like just like that pen, pendulum swinging back and forth. Would have, could have, should have. Self-doubt. Would have, could have, should have. That you have the opportunity to question yourself. Where is this energy coming from? And we know that this energy, this mixed bag of energy is coming from the eclipse. And then we can also ask ourselves, why are we experiencing these thoughts? And where are these thoughts coming from? And many times by asking ourselves, why are we having these thoughts? Where are these thoughts coming from? We can offset any negative energy and turn that into positive energy and positive self-perception. I think it's important here during this time that you really give yourself credit and give yourself kudos for what you have been able to accomplish and what it is that you would like to be able to receive. And so many times when I'm talking about energy, I'm also talking about karma. And if we get stuck in that mindset of negative thinking, that is what the universe will reflect back to us. And so anytime we find ourselves in a space of self-doubt, are creating negative energy. Stop, Red reflect, redirect that energy and turn it into positive. I really see you being able to turn everything into positive energy here by really just being aware of the energy that the eclipse is bringing in and asking yourself those key questions at that key time. And then we have the death card. Letting go, letting go of old fears. And I love that that is followed by the Empress card. Letting go of old fears will help bring in the manifest, will help us create the life that we would like to achieve. And that is followed by the Devil card. I don't know if maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn or dealing with the tangible, dealing with the physical. And here we, again, we were talking about dealing with the tangible, dealing with the physical. And 
really moving beyond that, really moving past that, moving past, moving beyond the physical. Pisces, we must let go of fears and untrue beliefs about money and about ourselves. Money can only manifest in our lives when we let go of the belief that I'm never going to make enough or I'm never going to have enough or I'm never going to be enough. Spirit has been reminding you, encouraging you, and even setting up the ability for you to let go of and to change that mindset. You are enough. You can create and you can have. You will have enough. And again, the simple practice of gratitude is a wonderful way to change that energy in order to manifest what it is that we are wanting to manifest. Let go of the fears and let go of those untrue beliefs. And that is the message that I have for the sign of Pisces. Thank you, Pisces. You have a blessed week.